National opt-out day, huh? Way what? better than the plane has a problem, isn't it? Yeah. Hell, heaven forbid we should be secure, right? Well, if you consider that security. Absolutely. I do okay. travel abroad. Cool. All you right. You got M16 nests sitting above you and machine gun nests. Sure. Do you ever travel abroad? Yeah. Turn your camera off. I don't need Have a nice day. Yeah. Have a nice day. TSA groping packets. Get your TSA groping packets. Get your TSA groping packets. There, you need one? There you yeah, go. I need one for posterity. Yeah, you do. And it's got a, a dissometer in there. It's, it's, I, I saw that. You yeah, know, next time I go through, I'll... I'll I, wear it. I'm, well, no, I'm not going to go through. Let it pat me down. Right. You know, but you never know. You might walk up. Get your TSA groping packets. TSA groping packets. Are you prepared to be groped? National opt out. You have your TSA groping packet? No. Nope. It's got some new, fresh new gloves for the TSA. <laughs> and it's got a movie in there as well. Oh, all right. Do you have your TSA groping packet? It's got a fresh new set of gloves in there for you. Don't touch my junk. It's got a fresh new pair of gloves for you and a dosimeter. Oh, right on. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, so what is your name? My name is Michelle. Also Michelle. Yeah. And so the people, you're, are you on like on the front of the gate or something? Yes. So I'm not at liberty to have a stance I understand. on camera. I understand. I wouldn't ask you, but you're saying that a lot of people are talking about what's going on. They're talking about what's going on. Okay. And there's quite a division, but there are a lot of people who we're supporting what you guys are doing out here today. So I Excellent. Think oh, well, thank you very much. It's, Excellent. These people are cold, I think. Are what? Are they cold? I don't think so. Oh, <laughs> oh, these guys. Yeah, he might be. Are you cold? I'm not cold. <laughs> what about Mr. Um, G-String? He's not cold? He's feeling cold. He does we were supposed to stay out here till six, so I think we're not oh, going to stay. Oh, yeah, when it gets later, it's going to be rougher. I will take this. I can't take this. What is that? It's just enough to... Because I can read it and I can pass it on. You're so funny. Are the police harassing you guys? No, no, they've all been very good. We prepped okay, them. Good. We actually had a meeting with them to tell them what we were going to oh, do. Good. Yeah, yeah. So they were supportive? Yeah, so they know. Well, they were, they're not exactly supportive, but they're, they're doing their job to protect our rights to uh, dis dissent. Oh my. <laughs> Napolitano, we have like, uh, we have someone who wants Adam to talk Secretary, to you. Some of your uh, underlings would like to say hello to you. Young lady, <laughs> okay. are you doing your job? Are you... Uh... <laughs> Presently, no, I'm not doing my job. Are you, you know, participating in uh, the yeah. hands pat downs? Um, I haven't participated yet. I, but I know I'll be subject to that because I work here. Excellent. Thank you very much. So have you inspected how much the... Uh... <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Um, can we get your name, please? Helena, H-A-L-I-N-A, Reed, R-E-E-D. And what group are you with? Um, I'm just a sovereign citizen coming out here to protest because I don't think this is right. Why don't you think this is right? Well, there are better ways to keep places secure than these Russian roulette style and invasive and demeaning procedures. So I, I don't think that the government should be doing this. If, if it were a private group that were doing this, people would complain to the government. But since the government is doing it, we have no one to complain to. Okay. So do you have a lot of people out yeah, here uh, doing um, We've had people coming and going all day. The, the thing about being liberty activists is that most of us have jobs, and so we're coming from work or going to work. And um, spread out throughout the airport, um, it's hard to get everyone together in one place, but the real thing we were trying to do is make sure that there was a presence here without impeding anyone's travel, because everyone should get to go home and see their family. We just want to make sure that people think twice about what's going on. How many people would you say you have out here? 
Um, well, I just have me. All right, that's that, the right answer. I know that um, the people I'm seeing right now, there's uh, probably 10 of us on this floor. The ASU students that I got an email from had, I think, 20. Um, I saw some other protesters who were out by themselves or in groups of two or three uh, out on the other side. So probably like 40, 50 for the day. Okay. So. And what kind of reaction are you getting from passengers trying to get to their planes? Almost entirely positive. Very supportive. What, what was notice, noticeable to me was, was the, the vast support from the flight attendants and pilots going through. Um, they see this every day and they just don't like it either. This gentleman tried to hand me something, some kind of kit. Are you one of the protesters, sir? I am not a protester. I am a demonstrator for the rights of the individual to be left alone. Okay. Are you with a particular group? or? I, I am with the group of me. Okay. I am a, a sovereign individual, and I have the right to tell my government that they are, they are doing wrong things and, and creating an environment of fear in my country and when you treat people like animals they will act like animals. All right. So you are here to protest? No, this. I'm here to demonstrate for the rights of the individual to be left alone. Okay. Are you against the TSA uh, pat-downs and everything? I am for the rights of the individual to be left alone. Okay, so why are you here at to, Sky Harbor? to demonstrate? Why aren't you protesting I'm not protesting because this is where the TSA is. Okay, so you are demonstrating. No, okay. I am demonstrating for the rights of the individual to be left alone in, in an airport. Okay, all right. So what is this kit you're giving me? This kit contains a dosimeter on it, a phony dosimeter, so people will be aware that the machines that are being implemented have not been tested in any degree to whether they have uh, the correct amount of radiation or the amount of radiation they're giving on thousands and millions of people or expect to give. There is no way to determine what the long-term consequences of this radiation is, and the only other alternative is for a TSA grope down. Okay. What is a dosimeter? Pardon my my uh, being dumb. So. Oh, you're not. I didn't know what it was called either. But it's a radiation measuring device that were you to be work into an environment that uh, you have to have. Uh, you're uh, surrounded by radiation, like a nuclear power plant, or if you're a dental technician, you know you're taking pictures of people's teeth with X-rays. You would wear one of these, and then to prevent from being overexposed. And uh, so, what do you want people to do with these that you're handing out? I would suggest to wear them and, and show it's a, a pro, it's a demonstration that you don't have the right to be radiated. I'm not I'm not cattle. I, I I'm a sentient human being, and I have the right to be left alone. And my government is not leaving me alone. Okay. Can I get your name, please? It's Thomas Costanzo. Costanzo. And, and this this is like a pair of underwear or something. No, like there is that? a pair of uh, glo uh, blue gloves. gloves in there. So when the TSA agent does his uh, gate rape on you and, and molests you sexually, you'll be able to give him a new pair of gloves so you don't get the germs that were on the last person's testicles on yours. And I know that's been a concern that's been raised by some other people too. Right. Well, they're not, they're not even taking care of a basic need, uh, a basic, how do I say, way of preventing disease. They're going from one person, next person, next person, all with the same pair of gloves. They're protected, but they're transferring germs from one individual to another. Okay. Thank you very and much. And what is your name? Uh, Bob McClay. Bob McClay. Okay, thank and you very much. where are you videoing? Oh, I videotape everything. Okay, all right. And we'll put you on YouTube, man. All right. All right, thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah, hang on. You want to make a few comments from the radio this week? I just, I think that the real big message that people need to take home about it is that this isn't about any collective. This isn't about um, sexual assault survivors feeling uncomfortable. This isn't about cancer survivors having their dignity taken away. This is about everyone. And when you protect individual rights, you're protecting everyone's rights, no matter what group they come from or what their life experience is. So, thank you. All right, thank you very much. Free growth. If it's a random search, then do you really feel that much safer? Say no to the TSA.